Well, first of all, I don't think I want an apples to apples comparison. Mm -hmm. The reason you go to cloud, if you want to look at it from that optic, is, is that I get an orange, or I get a pear, or I get a watermelon, pick your favorite other fruit, but it isn't an apple anymore, right? So you're trying to create what Fred said, is you're trying to create an opportunity space, not a forced march, right? I think the failure that we often make in government is we say, okay, everybody go over here, and people are trying to force fit things that simply shouldn't go in there, mm -hmm. or even more importantly, Right? They're ignoring what is it that cloud can do for them that creates a brand new opportunity space or enables them to do something they were never able to do before. Right? So for us, the approach we took was, is what is it we want to be able to do that cloud allows us to do that we can't accomplish today in our systems? It wasn't about email. We run email pretty well today. Could it be run more efficiently in the cloud? Maybe. Do we know that for sure? No. Right? But we do know we have massive challenges around things such as big data analytics and things like that to which the cloud was actually ideally designed for in the beginning. That's where it emerged out of, right, was in the space. And how do we bring that to bear to solve a problem that I cannot solve today, and then by creating the opportunity, as Fred said, what you said, I agree, right, build it and they will come. Then they, people start to come out of the woodwork and they come at their own pace that matches what happens to be in their budget line to make it happen. The worst thing about a forced march is, is everybody does this, mm -hmm. right? Send me money because right. you told me I got to go and it's going to cost me money to get there. Whereas what we're finding is by creating the opportunity and being faster, more agile, uh, less expensive, and more secure in the new world is that people are migrating themselves within the budget lines that they have. And given our declining budget world that we face in government, I think that's going to be a really critical thing. There. So it sounds like uh, uh, the way it's worked at CIA isn't necessarily cloud first, but really help them do their jobs first, and it, then they Yes, come. it's all about the mission. So the cloud is a part of an overarching strategy, which is where are we taking ourselves for the future? We actually have five major areas we investment. Cloud computing is number five, okay? The first four, no, number one, is what I want to do in the cloud. In our case, we focused on big data, mass analytics, and things like that. We want to create an environment that allows our users to have an experience that is more, pro, more approaches what they get on their Androids and their iPhones and things like that, which is have it their way, right? Not a monolithic, just use it our way type of thing. A focus on security, a focus on data, and then the cloud is just the computing infrastructure underneath that to make all that happen, right? I actually think there are two as a service things that are missing in this whole equation, right? I think security as a service needs to be addressed as a separate layer. I also think data as a service is something you need mm -hmm. to be able to address as a separate layer, right? Now, people argue you can marry them in with the existing three layers, but I'll tell you right now that without a key focus and creating them as key focuses, they get lost in the mix of everything that's going on.